Throughout the hour, members of our News 8 family are going to be showing us some favorite Super Bowl snacks and how to make them. We kick off with News 8's Danielle Woods. All right, welcome to my kitchen. Meg's in the house right now, and we are cooking up some great dishes, a little vegan, vegetarian. Yes. Yes, we have that going on, yeah. you know. Meat gotta, free, meat free is great. If somebody else can bring the wings, we're bringing the veggies, all yes. right? So I'm gonna make a delicious spinach dip, and the oh. good news is it's super easy, and the hardest part is literally just thawing out the spinach, which takes all day, but once that's done, you mix everything together. So let's get right down to it. Meg, I'm gonna need you to help me. Okay. Uh, let's grab the spinach. Okay, some spinach. And we're gonna dump that in the bowl. Okay. So. Get that in there. Yeah. Boom, easy. Okay, now we're going to add in the sour cream. Uh, Meg, if you could dump in... Some of the, the cheese che here? All of the okay, cheese. Okay, get all this cheese. This is mayo. And then a the little vegetable soup mix. It's about half. <laughs> do you wanna mix it? Do you yes. wanna do the honors? I would love to do okay. the honors. Okay, so why I really love this recipe. I know cold spinach dip is pretty good, but when you warm it up and you get the cheeses going, <laughs> takes my take delicious. The, uh, I can't even this explain girl it. Loves food. I, I do. So we're gonna grab the bowl or the pan that we're gonna bake it in now. We have the oven warming up right now. We are almost done. And to wrap things up before it goes into the oven, I like to sprinkle just a little more cheese on top because mm. a little extra cheese. Never heard anybody, right? All right, so now we pop it in the oven and soon it'll come out looking a-okay. Pop that in there for about 17 minutes or so and it'll be all good to go. Okay, so we have that in the oven and that's gonna take about 15 minutes. So what do we do until then? Have a little fun dance party. And now it's time to take this out of the oven. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you love cheese, you're gonna love this. You it smells will. so good. And the time has come, it's cooled down just a little bit, so we're gonna try some. Mm. It smells good. I'm gonna dig right in. Mm. Definitely really good. Take it away, Meg. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good dish. You've gotta try it. And coming up next, I'm gonna make some cauliflower wings, meat-free wings. You're gonna love it coming up. All right, stay tuned. They had a good time doing that. Okay, clearly yeah. not a vegan dish. Either. No. That's why Meg wasn't eating it, because she is a vegan. Well, she's going to show us some of those recipes coming up, but you can find Danielle's recipe on her Facebook uh, page, and all the recipes you'll see this afternoon are on our website, WGAL.com. Got to say, Danielle brought it into the station, too. It was, was it really, good? really good. It looked really good. Not vegan and delicious. <laughs>